Now, um, today I've got a piece of apparatus here in the studio, which I'm going to show to you now. Uh, it's fully plugged in, and we've been working on this all this morning in the research department today, and you can see all the parts are fully mobile. Now, the idea is, in your home, uh, every one of you in the audience here is going to have water, and it's going to be hot and it's going to be cold. And the only way you can tell the difference between the water is through its temperature. Now, it, from the water main, we have the water rushing up from underneath the ground in vast wells, you see, from beneath us, and sponds and springs. And it rushes through into the tap, through the purification plant and out here. Now, when we turn the tap on, we get a continuous supply of, of, of flowing water, normally, um, but not here. And, and this piece, piece of apparatus has been designed to demonstrate this. And we open this tap here, and, and water flows uh, profusely through. Now. The difference between these is basically one, you have the cold water at a low temperature and the other te water which is hotter, and therefore hot water, at a higher temperature than it. So the, the difference between them is one of temperature. I mean, it's basically the same sort of stuff. If you took the water from the hot tap, leave, left it to cool, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between it and the cold water that comes out early. Course. The cold is more cold straight away, the hot is cold later. Now, if you take the cold water and hot it up, you've got the same thing anyway. So it's all, and, and this is how the apparatus works. Now, um, the scientists have come up with something new again in the concept of food. This is uh, an ordinary chocolate biscuit of the sort that you might have around. I'm going to take this chocolate biscuit over there. Now, all the scientists have done is take an ordinary chocolate biscuit and all the nutrients in there are, are already concentrated inside. Because they've taken ordinary nutrients, sugar and carbohydrate, fats and, and proteins, and, and put it inside the biscuit here. In the same way that the water comes out of the tap, the proteins go into the biscuit. And this biscuit is enough to fa feed a family of eight for seven weeks. Just this one biscuit, a family of eight for seven weeks. Isn't that fascinating? Now, I'm just going to get this piece of thing to work here, and it's not working, but isn't that interesting? And, and back to you, Miriam.